As the 2022 fiscal year gradually winds down, a two-day training for all budget officers in the federal ministries, departments and agencies has commenced in Lagos. The exercise is organized by the Budget Office of the Federation. The essence of the training is capacity building. To train all officers representing their ministries on budget matters so that we could have the budget for 2023 effectively and efficiently delivered so that we could, it could be presented to the nation on or before 31st of December. The training will focus on the GIF-MIS budget preparation subsystem and other pertinent subjects. The MDAs are now taking responsibility of their budget preparation. Unlike the former method where they pass it on to the budget office and then we begin to collate. When this era, in this era, they prepare and they input. The only thing that we do is to collate all of them and make it a document. That is why we're on ground now. Training and retraining, capacity building, so that the officers will be fresh with the knowledge of what they are doing and they could do it well. And with respect to uh, some of the setbacks and the issues we've always encountered in budget preparation, it's going to be a bit different because uh, on an annual basis we have been training and retraining uh, budget officers of MDAs on the GIFMIS, um, sub, the preparation subsystem of, of GIFMIS. And this helps to, you know, to minimize the sort of uh, errors we used to see in the past when, you know, many years ago we were using the Excel-based uh, uh, system to prepare the budget. The training is also expected to hold in Kano, Gombe, Ibadan, Uyo, and the Federal Capital Territory. I think one big thing about this is that we have also tried to make the budget more comprehensive. And so we have um, introduced the revenue side, uh, uh, revenue recognition. So even for agencies like uh, the educational institutions and the health institutions that generate revenue by virtue of the activities, we've asked that they should report these revenues so that we are not under reporting government's revenue or government's expenditures as we have seen in the past. Thank you.